Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg probably didn't need any more bad news before he testifies in front of Congress next week, but he got some anyway. Liz McLaughlin tells us why the company's privacy problems are getting worse and what Facebook is doing about it. Facebook now says up to 87 million users may have had their personal information exploited by data firm Cambridge Analytica. That's equal to about 25 percent of the U.S. population. Facebook also revealed that the network allowed third parties to scrape some users' profiles. Data it means that you're using some kind of computer software to come in and collect vast quantities of data uh, very quickly across, you know, many different profiles. CEO Mark Zuckerberg said in a conference call Wednesday that users were affected who had a search setting enabled to use an email address or phone number to find profiles. It is reasonable to expect that if you had that setting turned on, that at some point in the last several years, Someone has probably accessed your public information in this way. News of data misuse has been a firestorm for Facebook, facing a dip in value and backlash from users, with delete Facebook trending online. The company's attempting to reassure users by rewriting terms of service and data policies, but that may not be enough. I don't know if there's anything Facebook could do to earn my trust back enough to where I'd join the platform again. On Monday, Facebook says the service will begin alerting users if their data was improperly shared and add a link to the top of news feeds that will show which third-party apps can access profile information. Updates ahead of Zuckerberg's trip to Washington next week to testify before Congress.